hello everyone welcome back in this video I am going to introduce you the laravel admin panel which is created by Zigzong github user and they have a github repository for this laravel admin and I will provide this link in the description below and let's see how it is looks like and how you can install this so I will provide this link in the description below first we need to install it using composer so they are giving us the command all we need is just copy this and go back to your project directory here I have a project laravel project I will pass this command and this will install this I already have installed this and then we need to publish the vendor folder and this will create some files for us and uh, once you publish this this will create some configuration files they are showing us right here and then we need to install the uh, we need to run the php uh, artisan admin install and this will install the admin panel so if we go back and insert the migrations they will create the migration for this create admin uh, tables they here they will create this from the from those and then I'll, uh, you must have set up the environment things uh, and database connections and username and password after that execute the uh, php artisan admin install and this admin comes from this package if we go back to our terminal and let's uh, clear the screen if i type php artisan admin and these are the commands that this admin panel gave us and we can do these things using this uh, laravel admin panel so we can create uh, admin controller using php artisan admin make and then controller name as you can see here make admin controller and then we can make control from giving model we can force a model we can uh, menus create menus install as we run right here this one is right here and then we can publish and alerts more lots more so we can create user reset password extend and export and so on and so forth permissions we will check uh, this in the gui of this admin panel so once you install this all you need is just uh, migrate the migrations php is in migrate and press if already there is something already in the database so this will fresh the database migrations and refresh the database and the admin tables from this admin panel is right here and that's it now let's start the server and here they are providing us the default uh, url for this admin panel which is slash admin or host and then slash admin so uh, laravel development server is started so let's go to that url localhost and local it is running on localhost so 127.0.0.1 colon 8004 and then admin and it will bring us to the admin panel so it asks for username and password and the documentations in the github page they are providing us the default username and password which is admin and admin so we will put that admin is username and admin is password and it says credentials does not match our record and i think we did something wrong let's create the screen and let's see what is going on so i will uh, press the migration and see it i guess i press the migration so migrate migration is already done so let's just see it db seed and this will see the pack data if already exists there and we need to start a development server i will refresh the page auth login url and let's put the admin and admin password and it's still giving an error so i think 
I should execute this command again. Here if we type uh, php uh, tcn admin command or tcn command this this will show us the all the available commands for this so as you can see install the admin package so I think we gonna need this one so if I execute that one and let's see nothing to migrate and directory already exists this is creating directory inside the app uh, directory and we are already logged in so just put the credentials and you will see the dashboard something like this so here this is the default view of the laravel admin admin panel for laravel if you go to config and admin.php this is the configuration file whole configurations are right here so we can define the name we can define the logo logo mini bootstrap routes directory which is for now it is uh, admin https and title and so on and so forth a lot of configurations are here you can change in if you want to integrate this in the real project so you can check this out and for more uh, this has a lot of configuration here uh, config admin.php and if you go to the official website laravel admin.org they have complete documentation on how this works and how you can use this so if you get stuck any and need any help check this documentation it has a lot of information about this package so uh, here you can configure configure all the things for regarding this uh, admin laravel admin admin panel and this is the default view so we have the uh, user account default user account we can configure a lot of things the environment variables we are using laravel 9.6 and php 8.1 here also they are showing we are uh, i'm using laravel uh, i installed laravel ui in this uh, laravel project and here they tinker and sync term framework a lot of uh, more simple information they are showing us the url for this and we are currently local so we can check all other things we can manage users one user just here which is the administrator which is created using the using migration and on which we are currently logged in so this is the user that we are using username as admin as we can see right here so we can create uh, users we can uh, export our user in a csv file or in and we can 